Game day preview time, quarterfinal round of the FCS playoffs, and Illinois State coming to town. Repeat customer here this year, Jeremy, and uh, a Brock Spack led football team that's won 10 games. And man, they've got on the road, and they've been impressive on the road so far in the FCS playoffs. And they know what it takes to play the Bison. Uh, they've played the Bison many times. Uh, the Bison won this game in the regular season. I expect an edge out of Illinois State and come in here expecting to win the game. Yeah, you start with the Redbirds on the offensive side of the football, and it's James Robinson, folks. He has been absolutely outstanding throughout his entire career. Just not right now, but 297 yards against SEMO a couple of weeks ago. That's a school record. 210 yards last weekend against Central Arkansas. This guy's amazing. We're going to see a lot of number 25 for Illinois State on Saturday morning. He's one of the all-time greats in the Valley. There's no question about it. Uh, the way he runs is impressive. He's powerful. But I like his footwork. He makes people miss. It's surprising when you see how big he is, how he can make people miss. And it's a handful for Code Green. Here are members of Code Green discussing and talking about what it's going to take to slow down James Robinson and the Illinois State rushing attack. You know, they've kind of rode him in and they go when they go as he goes, especially offensively. And, and I mean, what has he had like 80 carries in the last couple of weeks? I think, you know, when when he goes, they go and, and they'll ride him. And even if he's getting stopped, they're going to keep giving him the ball and then they're going to bust a big one. And, and that's kind of what they've done the last couple of weeks. I think uh, some of their offense is similar. Obviously, they've changed some things since then. You know, to be honest, I'm trying not to think about, you know, the last time we played them a whole lot. You know, things are different. It's a different team that we're playing against. So uh, one thing I definitely learned is that James Robinson is a very talented football player and can be very hard to tackle at times. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what we're focused on. And, you know, we're, we're definitely going to try to bring our A game. So You've seen, as you said, uh, game like, game in and game out, He is he's very difficult to bring down. But, you know, we just got to gang tackle like, like we've done all year, you know, swarm him and, and really overwhelm him with our, our pursuit. Defensively, Illinois State very, very aggressive up front, led by Romeo McKnight, an outstanding defensive end. 12 sacks on the year leads the Redbirds. And Jeremy, uh, their defensive front, 50 sacks on the season, really, really good. But the Bison handled them pretty well in that first game. What do you remember about the first matchup and what the Rams did to them that first time around? I thought the Rams played really well. I think they heard all week how physical Illinois State was. They took the challenge upon themselves to win the line of scrimmage, and they did that day. But I think Illinois State will come with an edge this game. There's no doubt. I really like how they tackle up the middle. DeForest is a good linebacker. Luther Kirk on the back end. All solid players. I think they have good players at all three levels, and they have a head coach who knows defensive football. Yeah, absolutely. Here are the Bison offensively discussing, trying to slow down that Illinois State defensive front. They're really big up front, uh, which I know helps them out a lot, you know, getting a push. Uh, it makes it tough on our offensive line. Uh, but defensively, uh, in the secondary, uh, especially they create a lot of turnovers, a lot of takeaways, uh, which is something, you know, we got to do a better job of, you know, taking care of the ball uh, like we have this year, I think, for the most part. I've uh, been doing a decent job of that. Uh, but super talented. Uh, I think they're a lot faster than what I expected, maybe on film. Uh, from the first time we played them, but uh, just seeing them on film now, they've, they've gotten a lot better and they're playing really well. We just came out fast as an offense, uh, scored points right away. Defense held them to three points, I believe. Um, I just think we came in very prepared, but um, teams get better throughout the year, so um, they're a good team and we, we got to keep our preparation up and we got to be ready for them. So it's quarterfinal round action, NDSU, Illinois State. Another rematch. We've seen this before, but it's the first time we've had this type of a game with the Redbirds. Give me a key. What are you thinking about in this game that's important for the Bison versus the Redbirds? Well, they're not 100% healthy on offense. Brady Davis is not there. He was their quarterback this year. So I think a fast start, uh, make them chase points, I think will get them behind the scoreboard a little bit and make them get out of their comfort zone and game plan. As far as TV goes, hey, national ESPN, it's a primetime slot route on a college game day. It's going to be fun. Yeah, 11 a.m. Central right on the main ESPN channel, as Jeremy mentioned. So. Should be great. The quarterfinals in the Fargo Dome, NDSU and Illinois State. For Jeremy, for Cole Hine, I'm Jeff Colhane. It's been our game day preview of the Redbirds.